All right, guys, today we're going to do some uh, valve work on a Honda GX390. This is on a Roofmaster roof cutter. Um, so I did the carburetor because it was all full of water and everything. You know, I figured it was the cylinder was full of gas because it would kick back. Like it had really bad, big compression. Uh, but then when I got done with the carb, I pulled the plug and, well, it's not really that wet. So that ain't it. So I did a little exploring. Um, so first you take off this hose. Um, then you take 10 millimeter, get this bolt out. Pop this off. And then uh, this guy, yeah, let me get my flashlight on here. This guy's just flopping. Let me get this thing out of the way. I don't know why this thing's got to be all up in the way all the time. Look, it doesn't even want to get out of the way. It's like, no, I live here. But anyways, this is just flopping around in there. <laughs> it's just not even finger tight. It's all loose. The whole stud comes out. So what we're going to do here is just get this all the way out. Alright, and we're going to disassemble this. So we're going to pull the 10 millimeter and 14 millimeter. We're going to break this free, get this top nut off. Take off this nut, rocker arm off. Now we're going to put this stud back in. Um, I'd like to do a little Loctite on it, so let me go find a Loctite. So I'm going to put some Loctite on it. Uh, I'm going to rinse it off a card cleaner, rinse the hole off a card cleaner that it goes in, put some Loctite in it, and then I'm going to put it in, you know, you thread it in it where it belongs. So we got a little Loctite on there, and we're going to go ahead and thread it back where it belongs. Get it in there nice and snug. And then, um, what size socket was this? 13 millimeter and tighten this down good and tight good and tight and slide the uh, rocker arm back on um, the uh, this side goes on the push rod make sure you get it to land right on the push rod and then we're gonna get this bottom nut on Get it down there till it's touching the the rocker arm. So I've got it to where it's just touching the, this. So we want to slowly pull over the handle and see that it. Okay, so we want to get it to where to push that down. All right, I think that's right. So all the way up. All right, now once we got it to the very top. Of where it's supposed to be and then we can adjust it so what we're trying to get is just where it just lifts off you feel this one you can feel it just barely lift off and that's where we want this one it's just barely lifting off and then we can put the other nut on top and lock it in place after you've got this top knot locked on there, you want to check again. Make sure it's just barely touching and pull it over a hard time and then get it to where it's at the top again and check it again. Make sure that it's, yep, there. So it's just, just there. All right, and that's it. That's how you adjust these valves. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and put the valve cover on, see if we can get this baby to run. Valve cover tighten down, put the hose back on. Just that easy. Hey guys, I hope that helped you out. If it did, in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Um, I did, uh, in a video right before this, I did the carburetor, uh, so if you need to know how to do that, I, on this very machine, I did the carburetor as well. Um, I, there isn't any parts, so I'll, I'll put a tune-up kit, for, you know, air filter, spark plug, stuff like that in the description below. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want me to do any advertising for you, message me. I need a sponsor.
Peace.